This tutorial will show you how to install an Android emulator on your Mac. An Android emulator will let you run Google Play apps on your computer. So to begin, go to AndroidEmulatorMac.com and from here you're going to find a step-by-step -step tutorial and all the download files required. So first you're going to download Genie Motion. You can find a link on the site. So just click on the link and it's going to take you to the Genie Motion site. You're going to need to create an account before you can access the download page. So once you create an account, download the Mac OS X 64 bits version. And I already downloaded that on my desktop. So next, you're going to need to download VirtualBox. And you can just click on the link and it'll be a direct download to VirtualBox. And I have that on my desktop as well. And then you'll also need a Google Play Store OVA. And the download link is also on the site. And you just click on the link to download it. Just click on the link and hit download anyways. And I have all three files on my desktop. So first we're going to install Genie Motion. So just double click the DMG file. And you're only going to need to install Genie Motion. You don't need Genie Motion shell. So just drag Genie Motion to the applications folder. Okay. While that's installing, let's also install VirtualBox. So double click VirtualBox. And double click the package. Hit continue continue and install okay genie motion is done installing and we're gonna wait until VirtualBox is done installing it should only take about a minute Okay, it's done. Now we're going to run VirtualBox. So I open VirtualBox and you're going to go to File, Import Appliance, and you're going to import the uh, uh, Google Play OVA that we downloaded. Okay, and then hit continue and import. And it's going to create a virtual device. So we can actually get out of VirtualBox, and now we're going to open Genie Motion. Open. All right, and double click on the virtual device, and it's going to open it. Continue. And this is like having an actual Android phone or tablet on your computer. So let's wait until it loads and you're going to have to do the initial setup. I'm going to skip all this. Okay, so here's my apps page, and you can see the Google Play Store is here. So you just click on this, and you could log into your uh, existing account or create a new one, and you could download uh, apps from Google Play, and then you're going to be able to run it. Okay, thank you for watching.